Good morning everyone. So today I'd like to give a demo on uh, developing a blockchain uh, application or a contract on Azure. Uh, there are many 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 uh, great uh, explanation on blockchain technology and it's all hip and happening. Uh, I follow basically a guy called Matt Stevens or Matt Thomas, apologies. And I really loved his movies. And basically what I did is uh, I followed uh, like uh, seven movies which he uh, uh, created on creating a private uh, network, uh, creating uh, uh, notes and creating uh, a contract and he explains everything in detail what what is. What I did is I automated his steps and uh, I create uh, with his automated steps you can create your own private network on Azure and start developing. Uh, on Azure we take uh, blockchain technology very serious. Uh, we have a thing called BAS or BAAS, Blockchain as a Service, which is basically uh, a set of tools and, and open source tools and, and uh, resources uh, we provide you to get started on using blockchain technology on Azure. Have a look at it. So. Uh, what I have here is uh, basically uh, a strict version. It, it, it's very bare. Uh, you just do check this code out. Then you create the network or the private network with the created sh. You need two parameters. Uh, the name of your solution. It will create a resource group in Azure and the number of machines. Once you have done that, it will create a uh, Parameters, it will create a Docker container uh, instance. Uh, the container instance source code, you can find it here in the container folder. Uh, and basically what you will have is a visual representation of the Ethereum network like this guy on a public IP address. Let's go back, back to the source code. And what will it do more? It will create four machines. It will, on every machine, it will install the required software. And then it will configure the uh, Ethereum network by uh, executing an Ansible script. And the Ansible configuration file can be found here. Config at YAML. Genesis. Up. So here you will see on every machine it will create a private uh, uh, Ethereum network by using this Genesis block and it will use a predefined directory and this directory is the same on all machines. It will start the Go Ethereum node with the same network ID and then it will attach to it and on every machine it will create an account with this command and this account will uh, be locked by this password, which is in source code as well. And then it will start a miner. So I've done this already uh, on this machine. Uh, here you see that it has uh, created, uh, let me see, a host file. In this host file, you see there are four hosts which uh, are a part of my private network. Yes. Uh, it also uh, made, uh, if you run the script at the end, you will see a message where it's available, uh, the, the container uh, registry, or the, not the, the container instance. You can do it also by doing Azure AZ container list min table so here you see that it's available here let's go back a little bit here so I made also a readme file it explains a little bit what it does 
and the last thing I like to tell you it's on every machine we have the Solidity uh, browser which is basically an IDE where we can develop our contracts uh, it will have the get the uh, Ethereum node and it will have at netstat which is the visualization uh, client which push pushes this uh, Ethereum data to this uh, public address yes okay let's go back mm -hmm. let's start with the contract now uh, I've made a contract in the contract folder called simple lottery I will open it with one of the greatest editors in my opinion Visual Studio code I'm copying the source code oh I forgot a step going back I'm logging in to the one of the machines on my private Ethereum network it's called blockchain demo one I'm using the VSTS user for this then on this machine I will go to the opt Ethereum Solidity IDE and I will start the IDE with npm start so what it will do is on this machine it will open on port 8080 the IDE I've pasted the code of my simple lottery here yes uh, and now I can run this on a public network uh, let's just do that and I'll do it by in my constructor I'm saying I like to create three tickets and the price money will be 10,000 so here you see it has been picked up by the public network and here you can see the details it's a, uh, we got three uh, lottery tickets and the price money is 10,000 and when we go on debug we can go step over step and this is interesting when you look in the solidity state you see what happens to the variables in the state of this contract so in a nutshell what happens is uh, you got this contract and uh, which is code and uh, it contains a constructor when I'm calling this constructor an instance an instance of this contract will be created on the blockchain and on this instance you see uh, that this contract has several uh, attributes every time you change an attribute within this contract by calling a method uh, for example it will generate a transaction and this transaction needs to be mined by the other nodes within the ethereum network so let's connect to our private network now and finish up the demo web3 I'm connecting to this guy because that <laughs> okay you see on this node I have one uh, wallet on this wallet I already mined about 189 ethereum so I have enough to uh, execute this contract I will say now I will just create two and uh, 20,000 is the price money nothing's happening it's always the same with the demo gods let's just reconnect because I think I lost the connection So, 
uh, when you call this message you will see probably initially a message like this authentication needed password or unlock so what you need to do is go to the IDE or not the IDE sorry the console and uh, you do this uh, by just SSHing to this machine so this is the machine blockchain 1.1 one one demo you SSH to it and then you can say personal unlock account and I like to unlock the first account with this password slow network one moment logged in the first thing you need to do is attach to the running ethereum uh, node you do that by doing get attach and then go to the directory where the IPC is which is demo echo get IPC then I'm pasting this command my account is unlocked now and now I can do create on this and this is on my private network so I do I buy a ticket for myself I buy a ticket for John and I buy a ticket for m oh there are only two tickets so that that will generate not a transaction it's being picked up by one of these guys uh, if some for some reason you're uh, uh, you are having trouble mining or uh, you want to investigate or learn what's happening under the w on the water uh, go to the uh, console and there you have a very rich uh, language which you can use for querying so uh, let's say uh, at mining this will return a boolean and it will say this node is actually doing some mining so we have bought two tickets and now I like to see if we have a winner the two tickets it's still pending here the first ticket is bought by myself and I got ticket number two and the second ticket it's uh, bought uh, let's see it's bought by John and he has number eight then we executed the get winner method do we have a winner we, mm, that's weird let's do it again let's see. okay So after a couple of time doing the get winner, we finally have a winner uh, and basically what it does when you go to the get winner function, it will, for every time you draw, it will generate a winning number, which is a, r a random number and it's a number between zero or uh, zero till ten. And of course you can expand this number with a l larger number and then it will iterate over all the sold uh, lottery numbers and see if one of the numbers is a winning number uh, that could be the case if there are m multiple winners then the price number will be divided by multiple users so here have a look at it uh, this is just a simple contract which does nothing with ethereum itself but you can uh, that's something maybe I will do in the next demo. Expand this simple lottery uh, contract with something that actually requires Ethereum. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, and start hacking, guys. Have a nice day.